So this is just a quick video to help some people out that were asking about seeing uh, the back of the building, the car park area and the dock area. This is the best I can get when it comes to Google Earth and the 360s that we you can watch on the website. I'll put the link to the description of this website in my um, box underneath and if you want to check it out, check it out. Uh, I can't get into Google Earth within the building so I have to use this. It's not as good but it's better than nothing but I just wanted to show you the how to get to this area and as you can see this is the car park area where that rare car park camera would have been on that wall that you see next to the Crown Palazzo sign facing uh, obviously the cars and that is where they would have come up from the building they would have walked up this little hall that you see them turn to the right and go go out the doors but you can't see that would be that hall that that you can't see um, and they walk up the side of the building and then they walk across here so wherever their car was parked it was in that direction okay and they would have you know you can see um how easy it is to get from this area to uh the dock area which is round just around the corner literally them doors that you see near the kosher kitchen that lead out that is also that is if you look at the markers on the outside of the building it's an entrance and here the car park something else look how you can just walk straight from that car park into this car park there's nothing in the way you know, you probably could walk from the other side of that car park through here into this car park. So pay attention to that. This would be where you walked up. This would have been what they've seen if they walked out of the building into the car park. And we see that, you know, red uh, sign uh, uh, above you. And that would be the road. Okay. And as you pan to the right, you'll see, you know, that garden area where they can eat and then that path uh, that they walked up to get to this point and then get to the car park to the right where you see them paying for their tickets so this would be the area I'm talking about um, and you would walk up there where you just saw and obviously enter the car park I just wanted to give people a good idea and a closer view maybe this would be obviously the visibility bar uh, garden the restaurant garden and next to it you've got the pool and now if you go outside you can actually see the pool through the doors that are outside in that in that garden please check the 360 out as you pan around you'll see you know the rough area of where the visibility visibility bar is and if you go back down to where I was follow it back show you the route you walk up here Go into the car park area, well, towards the car park, walk up that hall and you'll end up in that area where you can then walk across the where that surveillance camera shows and go to where you need to go in the car park. And that's the direction that Kaniko walks past and, and her friends walk back towards the car, well, or the dock area, which I'm quite suspicious of. Um, the camera would be just about round about there. So, yeah, pay attention to the dock area and the car park. Something else I'm going to add is this room. This is the room outside of the... Uh, where you walk up that hall at the end, you'll see, uh, like, a door, another door, and it's in the room off of here. This I feel like this would be where the restaurant would be that they're building and the connection to the mayor and the owner... Um, I will be going into a little bit in regards to this hotel at some point because I think it's it could be quite relevant to why this case has basically been dismissed the way it has. Um, this is just the route from um, how you would get into that that restaurant area if you you did obviously if you didn't know already most people probably know but this is just for the people that don't. So you'd walk up here, the visibility visibility bar on the left, and then you'd end up in here through that that little gap where those gates are. That door, those doors on the left, that's the room where there's an exit in there where which leads out to the back next to where the rare car park is. Um, I'll show you a bit closer. Um, you can see the, the the windows are the same as that the windows that run run along that hall that you walk up to get to the to the car park. 
and if you go into this room you'll see a bit closer the exit and this is the exit in case anybody was interested in it and you can see that light outside of the window and that is basically that same light that you see when you're outside um when, once you've walked up that hall you can kind of see it in the distance i'll go up there and you'll see get an idea of that window is for that room and then there's that light and then that door uh on the back of the building where the car park is where you can see this sort of wall jut out of it that is basically the uh, uh, exit.